Dave from Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania. A real happening place. It's another fun packed, star filled, exciting, extravaganza edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants! Hey everyone, ranting and roving today, and of course, you get to see everything around me, because once again, I've got the side view, I've got the rear view, I've got the my view, and I've got the front view. Anyhow, what's got me ticked today? Well, here it is, school's only been in session for a couple of days. And there's already some some school districts talking about striking. That's right. Let's not talk about striking at the end of the school year and try doing contract negotiations over the summer like normal people would. No. We need a bargaining chip. We need to screw up kids' lives, you know, the timetable for graduation and other school functions, by waiting until school starts to say, hey, we're greedy SOBs, we don't want to pay for our benefits, and we think we need more money. And I apologize to any of my relatives that are teachers. I'm sorry, but this is an ongoing problem here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Too much freaking greed. Every time you turn around, they're looking to strike. First up is Abington. That's right. Abington had a strike a couple years ago. Contracts up. They're looking for more money. More money. Of course, their argument's going to be that, once again, they are the number one school district in Pennsylvania, in Northeastern PA. They come up number one in the state, as they have for like the past 20 freaking years. Okay, you may argue that they're doing a great job, they want more money, blah, 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 blah. I still don't agree with the whole benefit thing. I'm sorry, but you know what? The rest of the free world, people pay into benefits. What is so damn hard about you chipping in a couple of dollars? And it's not looking like, like the school districts are looking for an outrageous amount into the benefits. But they'd like you to pay something into them. No, we can't have that. And, uh, and why? Because I guess we think we're privileged. I don't know. But then number two on the list. This one really yanks my freaking chain. The wonderful... Always great Scranton School District. That's right. Scranton School District. The same district that went on strike two years ago and screwed up everything because they maxed out the amount of time that you can be on strike. And not that we have a limit. We actually have a limit to when school has to end for the year in the state. They dragged their strike out so that they maxed out all the time for school. Graduation, everything was so late. Kids were going to school until, I don't know, 25th of the month of June. or something. It was some bizarre thing like that. And they went on strike last time for what? More money! What else? Don't want to pay into benefits. So they agreed on this two-year contract that they were going to renegotiate, which, of course, over the course of two years, nobody from the union or the, has sat down to negotiate this thing. No, they wait until right before school closes. Uh, oh, excuse me. Opens up for the year to say, we're going on strike because our contract ended basically the day before school opened. And we're not sitting down and negotiating. Now, here's the issue that I have with these jam bags. And yes, you know what? There are some teachers that are passionate about their job in the Scranton School District. There are other yam bags, though, that don't give a flying fudge about anything, and they are there just for the paycheck. You know what? If I recall... And maybe the teachers haven't realized this because maybe they don't read the newspaper and they don't read the reports that come out from the state. But 
latest year of the uh, 25th, 2016 into 2017 school year, Scranton ranked the lowest out of every school district in Northeast PA. They ranked terrible when it came to the um, testing scores that they do, the um, Pennsylvania Achievement Testing thing. Bottom of the barrel. They are terrible in the percentage of students that graduate. They are terrible in the amount of students that drop out. Completely terrible. On the state ranking, they some school districts had a terrible at least got points. Scranton scored an absolute zero. Zero. You're so low on the list it isn't funny that the State Board of Education ranks you zero. No points. In other words, your school district is freaking worthless. But you guys want more money. Not only that, but you don't want to pay shit into your benefits. Do you deserve it? Hell no! Your students are failing. Your school district is failing. Which means the teachers are failing. You don't deserve shit. And they bitch and moan, of course. Because they apparently say that they can't afford to live on what they're living and taxes have gone up. You know why taxes have gone up, you freaking yam bags? Because you wanted more money. So, school taxes went up. And now you're bitching and moaning that you can't afford to make it on the money that you make. Which is about roughly twice of what the average wage earner in the city of Scranton makes. But you can't afford to live on it. Everybody else seems to be able to afford on making half that and still paying into the outrageous taxes. But you can't. And you can't afford to chip in a couple bucks a month towards benefits. Get the hell out of here. You're that damn greedy. You know what? How about they just fire you all? All right? Because Lord knows there are plenty, plenty of college students in the area who have graduated, who have been dying to get into the school districts. Some of them are on waiting lists. They're trying for years. And they have the teaching degrees and they can't get in, especially in Scranton, because it's generally what you know and who you know and relatives that work there and things like that. Fire them all and get some fresh blood in there. Get some people who are passionate about teaching. I'm not saying that you can't be in it for the money, but for Christ's sakes, people, your district failed every aspect of the state guidelines. Like I said, they rank you zero. You are a worthless school district, but you're going to sit there and have the gall to say that you need more money. <laughs> you're out of your freaking minds. And I'll tell you what, anyone that's on the news on Talkback 16 that say that they support the teachers and and the, their whole quest for more money should get their freaking heads examined. Because they don't. Not only that, but this goes back to another rant that I had. Okay? There was another rant about it that I did. That Scranton School District, because so many kids are failing, in order to get their rankings up in the state, have decided that they're going to change the requirements for graduation, which they did. Now, gym is no longer a necessity. It is actually a, what do you call that? Not a require. It's an elective. I'm sorry. It's an elective to take gym because so many kids, first of all, fail out of gym because they either don't go, they skip. 
They don't bother uh, getting dressed for gym, stuff like that. Um, don't participate, things like that. And that's what's happening there. Then they change the requirement for math. Now you have you take less math classes in order to graduate because so many kids are failing math in the Scranton School District. Which also goes to the whole Obama education thing of Common Core math, which sucks anyway. But they're getting rid of some of the math requirements to make it easier for kids to graduate. And they're also eliminating a whole bunch of things like certain history requirements and that also, where kids were failing. So it would sort of force them through the system so they graduate, so they can get their numbers up, so of course they can qualify for state grants. What bullshit. So you're going to push through kids who can't do math and that, basically, because you're eliminating the harder math. Unfriggin' believable. What yam bags. Once again, these teachers deserve no raise. You get the scores up, you get kids, you know, educated, then you could ask for more money. But that's only if you do a big jump there. Going up one or two points doesn't mean squat. Unfreaking believable. This is why you wouldn't catch me living in that damn city and paying those taxes. And I don't know why more people aren't outraged about it. I don't even live there and I'm outraged about it. Well, that, my friends, while I raised up my blood pressure, is all I have to say about that.